Hi boys and girls, I'm going to teach you today how to log in and create a Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a way for you to do video and audio responses back to uh, your teachers, me and Mrs. King. Uh, you're going to start by logging into your Google Classroom just like you normally would. And right now you can see in the upper right hand corner, I'm logged in as A1 student. And that is uh, up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, you're going to go over and see in your stream that your teacher has posted a new assignment uh, in Flipgrid. Uh, you're going to go to that assignment, click on, click on your classwork, and my sample assignment right here I made is for Monday, April 6th. You can see right there. Uh, I'm going to click on that, and you have a couple of options here. You can click on these to change some settings. You can click within Flipgrid, but I want you to do is click View Assignment. Get into the assignment itself before you do anything. Uh, this is where you're going to access the Flipgrid assignment, and then when we're done, we're going to come back and link the assignment to your Google Classroom and then mark it as done. So let's get started with this Flipgrid assignment. Uh, you're gonna see this, you click right on Flipgrid. It's gonna ask you to log in with Google. Uh, I've already loaded all your accounts in there, so you're gonna click log in with Google. Uh, I'm gonna click A1 student. Uh, you're gonna click your own and it's gonna bring you right to the grid is what they call this. Uh, you're gonna see our remote learning banner up top down you're going to scroll down these are your directions right here uh, it says welcome to flipgrid these are your instructions your assignment today is going to be very 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 simple i want you to say hello to me and share a fun fact about yourself that's what you're going to do in your video i'm going to scroll down you can see me and mrs d have already been practicing a little bit uh yours might be blank right now but i see a giant green plus sign over here so I'm gonna click that giant green plus sign and it's gonna bring up a recording window. In that recording window, now you can see me recording. Uh, you've got a couple of options. In the top right corner here, you can see that's how long the video can be maximum. It can be anywhere up to one minute. Um, if you click on the book, it's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. If you forget what the assignment is, it will tell you you need to say hello and share a fun fact about yourself. <clears throat> and then I will click on the book again. Um, if you're not quite sure, sometimes your assignments can be kind of long. Uh, this is a little add a sticky note. Um, that opens up something that is used you can type in. I'm going to click it and drag it right over here. So maybe I'm going to remind myself my name is Mr. D. A fun fact about myself is that I love making homemade maple syrup in the winter. That's going to be my fun fact. Um, it's not going to appear anywhere on your video. It is something that you can read right from your screen. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click on this record button and I'm going to read exactly what I just wrote. It's going to give me a countdown. Uh, my name is Mr. D. And a fun fact about myself is that I love making homemade maple syrup in the winter. I'm now gonna click on that pause button. Uh, you can see a couple of things right now. Uh, number one, um, I can see there's a little bit of white in this outer circle here. That means that's how much of the one minute I have used. So imagine this were a circle graph. Uh, this were uh, a portion of that circle graph that I have already filled up. Um, if I didn't like it, if I made a mistake or something happened, I can click on the redo button. It'll take me back. Um, if I want to, I can keep recording. I can click that and keep recording, but I'm happy with my recording, so I'm going to click on next. Uh, my name is Mr. D, and a fun fact about myself is that I love making homemade maple syrup in the winter. I'm. Uh, my name is Mr. D, and it will keep playing that until you hit pause uh, or you hit next or add more. Uh, so if I wanted to add some more, I wanted to finish my thought, I could do that. If I wanted to go uh, be done with this, I could do that. So that's what I'm going to do now. And now I'm going to take a selfie. It wants you to take a selfie because that's going to be what's going to be in your screen uh, when Mrs. King and I look at it. So I'm just going to click that picture, take a not so good picture of myself, but it doesn't matter. It's just for a classroom assignment. Uh, now I'm going to click on next. And now I've got to enter some information. Your uh, name should automatically pop in. Uh, to this window. I'm going to type mine. Um, I You should also have an assignment. Uh, this is Flipgrid 
assignment. I'm going to leave this link blank. You don't need to put anything in that link. See, it says optional. That means you can choose. We're not going to be doing that. I am now going to submit my video. You get some fireworks. And I'm going to complete it. And you can see that it has added that over to my assignment. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to load up that assignment. Uh, pause it. Up top here, you can see that there's a web address. I'm going to right click and copy that web address. I'm now going to go over to my Google Classroom, add a link, not a file, right click and paste, add this link. And what you're going to see is up here, Google Classroom is going to add that video file. And now you can turn it in. Yes, I want to turn it in and I'm good to go. So that way, if I log in as Mr. Dear Mrs. King, I will see that it has been added. That is how to do a Flipgrid. Uh, your assignment right now for this assignment is going to be just to do exactly what I just did. Get into Flipgrid, say hi, tell me one fun fact about yourself, and then uh, link the video to your Google Classroom account and then submit or mark it as done. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you.